So today we're going to take a look at two MagSafe clear cases for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. We have the Spigen Ultra Hybrid and the ESR case, which also has a kickstand. Let's take a look. Now, before we start, some people don't like clear cases. Personally, I like the fact that they preserve the design of the iPhone and the colors of the iPhone. And I also like when the cases have a transparent side because then you can preserve the gorgeous stainless steel of that iPhone. Now, again, some people don't like this white ring, the MagSafe ring on these cases. Personally, I don't like it either. However, I really like MagSafe and that's a price I'm gonna have to pay. Now, why do I like MagSafe? Well, there are a lot of reasons. First of all, I hate wires and I avoid using cables. So the wireless charging with MagSafe is very convenient. Now, I know some of you are gonna ask me, what do you do with those 50 milliseconds that you save by not plugging your cable in? I know, I just, I don't like cables. Also, I use a MagSafe charger on my desk. So whenever I'm sitting on my desk, I just place the phone there. It's like a stand, but the phone is also charging. And then before I sleep, if I want to charge my phone on my bedside table, there's also a MagSafe charger. I don't need to fumble and try to find the cable in the dark and try to plug it in. I just lay the phone on the charger and voila. Now what I particularly like with MagSafe is that magnetic connection. Previously with wireless Qi chargers, I could do that, but then you need to ensure you place your phone exactly where it's supposed to be. Otherwise you wake up with no juice. With MagSafe, problem solved. It just attaches magnetically and voila your phone is charging. Now, in addition to wireless charging, there's a ton of useful MagSafe accessories as well, like a wallet, for example, which can come in handy, but also a kickstand that is MagSafe as well, which lets you place your phone, rotate your phone. That's quite handy as well. Or my favorite, a MagSafe battery pack like this Anchor, which you attach like that, it starts charging without the need to have cables running from your power bank to the phone. This particular one also doubles as a kickstand, so you can have it like that and sit your phone just like that in both portrait, but also horizontal. There's even MagSafe rings that you can attach that can also double as kickstands. Now, speaking of MagSafe accessories, I'm actually currently testing and will be reviewing a new MagSafe wireless charger that promises to charge your phone 30 to 40% faster than normal MagSafe chargers. And the way it does that, it has an integrated fan that cools your phone as you charge it. If you're interested in seeing that review, make sure to subscribe to my channel to get notified when I release that video. Now that we got MagSafe out of the way, let's take a look at the cases. Now, as I said, both cases are MagSafe cases, so they both have that ring. The Spigen case is in carbon fiber. I know this looks like black, but it's actually carbon fiber and it looks really good. You'll see how it looks on the phone in just a minute. The other ESR case has a white ring. Now let's start with the Spigen and let's put it on the phone. It's actually a very snug and tight fit. I think the video doesn't do the carbon fiber much justice, but this is not black, it's carbon fiber. Now, if we look at the case, it's transparent all around. Looking at the cutouts, very nice cutouts, very precise. On the other side, oops, that's upside down. You got the Spigen logo over here and then the buttons, which are actually very easy to press and the cutout for the ringer, which is also very easy to press. Some of them are a bit difficult to press, but this is well, quite easy, no complaints there. There's air cushion technology etched on the top, and that's actually, if you can see them over here, there's air, well, cushions, 
that are supposed to absorb the shock if the phone falls down. I will not drop my iPhone 14 Pro Max to test it. I'm just gonna have to have faith in Spigen that this actually works and you have it on all four edges of the phone. On the other side, you get the power button, which is also very easy to press. And then on the back, there's this camera guard. So it is raised to protect the camera, as you can see right here. Now, in terms of the grip, I would say it's fine. Nothing too special, but nothing too bad. It's not very slippery, but it's not the best of grips either. Also on the front, I'm not sure how much of that you can see, but it is raised, so there is a lip over here. So if you lay the phone flat on its face, it will also be protected by this slightly raised lip. Now, another nice thing about the Spigen, the four edges on the back also have some sort of a lip to even protect it more. This is a nice addition, and again, if you set this down, it is completely resting on those four raised edges. Now, if we're to see the thickness of that lip, it's about 11.2 millimeters, and the raised part around the four corners is almost 12 millimeters, and the camera guard is about 13.5 millimeters. Now let's take this off and put the ESR case. As I said, it's quite tight. So it's not that easy, there you go, to take it off. And let's put the SR case on. Also a very snug and tight fit. Very similar design all around. Buttons also are very easy to press and I think even easier than the Spigen, there's a decent cutout here for the ringer that is also very easy to press around the sides. Oh, so the ESR has something the Spigen does not, which is a lanyard loop over here, which you could use if you'd like to attach your phone uh, to a lanyard. And again, you get raised edges here, similar to the air cushion technology that Spigen has to protect the phone if it lands on its edges. You get those on all four sides. Again, very precise cutouts in the back for the charging port, the microphone, and the speaker. Moving on to the other side, a very subtle ESR logo, tech made easier, that is laser etched. The power button, very easy to press. Again, you get this little edge over here to protect the uh, sides if it falls down. Let's take a look at the back. You get the MagSafe ring in white over here. And again, looking at the front, it is also slightly raised to protect the screen. And you also have slightly raised edges around four corners. Not sure how much of those you can see. Let's see how much the raised lip is. It's about 10.7, 10.8 millimeters. So slightly less than the Spigen. Let's take a look at the edges over here, which are slightly raised. There you go. This is 11.5 or 11.6 millimeters. And then the camera guard, which is also raised over here, is around 14.8 millimeters. Now there is one thing very special that sets the USR case apart is that it has a built-in kickstand and it's actually quite genius how they implemented that. So I've had Spigen cases in the past with built-in kickstands and those used to be around here. With the advent of MagSafe, they can no longer put the kickstand here. So what ESR has done is that they integrated the kickstand in the camera guard and this is what you have. You can place your phone horizontally like this, and you can also adjust the angle. And I'm actually quite impressed with the implementation of this. It feels quite solid. There's good amount of resistance, so you can actually adjust the angle quite well. 
And if you wanted to, you can also place it standing up vertically like that. However, it's gonna have to be upside down. Now, personally, I really like the Spigen case, especially the carbon fiber Maxi ring. As I said, I'm not a big fan of that white ring on the back, especially with a darker phone. I think it's a bit distracting. There's a lot of contrast between the dark color of the phone and the white Maxi ring. So I was really happy with the carbon fiber look, which is somewhere between white and black. And depending on the angle at which you hold the phone, it shows a different color. However, I really like the kickstand that ESR has. And thus far, that's the only brand I've seen that has that. And that for me is more than enough to forego my dislike of the white MagSafe ring. I'm willing to sacrifice that white ring for the benefit of a kickstand. And I found it quite useful. You can also use it somehow, albeit a bit awkwardly as a ring when you're holding your phone. So you can open that and then use it as a ring like that. The iPhone 14 Pro Max is not the lightest of phones. It's a bit heavy. So I don't know if you're watching a movie when you were laying down in bed, this provides some sort of safety as do not break your nose in the event that this phone falls straight on your face. So all in all, I'm really happy with both cases. I've been using, to be honest, the Spigen for about a month but then I discovered that ESR has a case with a built-in kickstand, so I switched to that, and I'm quite happy with it. One last thing, I haven't used either of them long enough to see if they're gonna yellow. They both have some sort of anti-yellowing, but only time will tell if it actually works or they're gonna turn yellow with time. Now for the price, they're priced at about $25 to $30, depending on when you buy them and where from. At the time of this review, I think the Spigen was for about $25 on Amazon and the ESR with the kickstand for about $30. Now one last thing before I sign off, not all MagSafe cases are the same in terms of MagSafe and specifically the magnetic strength of the MagSafe. ESR actually advertises their case as having stronger magnets and they actually do and it does feel stronger than the Spigen. However, I tried to make a more scientific conclusion than how it feels. I don't have any devices to measure the magnetic force or the magnetic pull, but what I did was attach a ring, MagSafe ring to the back of both cases, and then use a digital luggage scale, attach it to it and start pulling slowly and record the weight at which the ring detaches. And indeed, the MagSafe on the ESR case was significantly stronger than that of the Spigen. So just something to keep in mind. Maybe the strength of the magnet is inconsequential for you, but for me, I'd like to have stronger magnets for when I have, let's say, the MagSafe wallet attached or even the ring or Belkin recently released a MagSafe car mount. So I guess that would come in handy if you're driving on a bumpy road in your car. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments section what you thought. And as always, if you liked the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel as this encourages me to continue producing content. Until next time, cheers.